Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new game. You'll see this game every now and then when I don't have enough videos recorded or like a good schedule. And this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Masters World Championship Tournament 2006. So we're just gonna call it Ultimate Masters. Enter my name, okay. My name is going to be Scott. Because you know my name is Nostalgia Scott on here. I go by Kelly on my other channel. Select an icon. Um, build this guy. He looks evil. Ah, uh, select our first deck. Hmm. Let's go with spellcasters. I love spellcasters. And challenge. What is this? Dual puzzle theme. Dual survival. Dual. So we have like mini challenges we can do. We can get cards and packs. So we have, are these actual booster packs? Oh, they are actual booster packs. So we have like, Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Pharaoh's Servant, Verona Guardian, Spell Ruler, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Legacy of Darkness, Magician's Force, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, and then Ancient Sanctuary. So, how about we do like, one of the cheapest packs because there's literally nothing in it. Uh, let's buy, um, how about we buy $1,200 worth? Yes, it's fine. I will like to buy that, please. And hang on, we just gotta fix the screen here. Oh yeah, I'm back. Just had some screen issues. Let's open up our booster pack. So we got, uh, Fiend Reflection number two, Guy of the Fierce Knight, Fire, Fire Yaru, Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, and Charubin the Fire Knight. Funny thing is, Gaia the Fierce Knight is actually our rare. Okay. Ooh, uh, we got Green Phantom King, Flame Manipulator, Masaki, Basic Insect, and then Left Arm of the Forbidden One. So, not bad. Ah, uh, Frenzy Panda, Metal Dry, Man Eater Bug. We'll have to put that in our deck. Rain, Temperature, and Sogin. Not really that amazing. Uh, Dragonus, the Wicked Knight, uh, Arm Ninja, Lesser Dragon, and Taihon. We already had Red Medicine, apparently, so... Uh, nothing good in there. We have Stop Defense. We got Exodia. That's pretty much the only good card in there. Hane Hane isn't bad. And then... Ooh, we got the Secret Rare from the original pack, Trihorn Dragon. But we also got our second Maneater Bug. So that's not bad. Um, Pharaoh's Servant. Um, what would be the best pack for Spellcasters? Let's buy Magician's Force. Um, how much are these? 300 a freaking pack, man. I literally have enough to grab... What, six booster packs? Six booster packs, yeah. Anyways, let's open up. Ooh, a, another Breaker of the Magical Warrior. It's an ultimate rare according to the game. We also got Ultimate Obedient Fiend. Uh, Armor X, Skilled Dark Magician. Nothing really amazing. Eh, nothing amazing there. Old Vindictive Magician's not bad. Wait, Motion Cannon, Great uh, Angus. Skilled White Magician, that's not bad. Giant Orc isn't bad either. And another Old Vindictive Magician and Vampire Orcus. I always like that. Anyways, let's go edit our deck. We can also use the password, so let's go to the deck edit here. Uh, let's see if there's anything we can replace. Oh, you can only have one breaker, okay. At least it tells us that we can only have one. Um... I don't believe Tsukuyomi is going to be that good, so we'll put that in our trunk. And then... I guess that's it. Go over here, and then we'll find... Where is it? Oh, we have Fissure. We can put Fissure in our deck. That's a good card. Um... I actually want... Old Vindictive Magician. That's actually the one I want right now. Did I pass it, really? Oh wait, there he is. He's down here. There we go. I'm not details. Want him in my deck. Thank you. Okay. So let's go to Frito. I believe to unlock more opponents, we have to beat them. So let's fight Karibo. 
Ah, eh, let's go with tails. Rock, paper, scissoring it up. And since we won, we get to uh, choose to go who goes first and second. Okay, I'm actually going to start with summoning. Set this face down. I said set this face down. Still not used to these controls and summoning Mystical Beast Cerberus. And end phase. Because we don't have anything else we can do. Ah, you have a La Jin, Mystical Genie of the Lamp. Are you serious? We'll just activate. No, we'll activate this just to get it face up. Ah, we lose 400. It's a bummer. And Kariba also gets two face ins. The issue with this game is the beginning duels actually aren't really weak. And now this is. Um. You can only have to. Okay, so. I'm gonna actually summon. Evan Magician Kerr on here. And then with that, we can activate. Magical Dimension. Destroy. or tribute our card. Get rid of you. Special Summon Chaos Command Magician, just 2400 attack points. And even destroy Legend Mystical Genie of the Lamp. And now we can hopefully get off some direct damage unless he has some face down to pr protect him. Ah, he has a negate attack. Okay, not bad. Though we do have Nobleman of Cross out to deal with that with face down, so. And Snatch Steal, that goddamn son of a bitch. Like, jeez. How are we supposed to deal with this guy? Eh, reload. That's not really gonna help me much. I got a thousand life points. I might use reload to get rid of Magician of Faith just because Magician of Faith isn't really gonna. So Magician of Faith might actually help me. So let's get rid of this. Mystical Elf. What the heck kind of deck are you using? We'll use you. And we'll end our turn, because with that, I can at least get Magic Dimension back. Please don't summon anything really powerful. No! He had Tribute to the Doomed. Go figure. And... Break of the Magical... Oh! No, I, I don't really care about you, Reload. I can actually use Break of the Magical Warrior. No, wait, I don't want to activate anything. Activate his ability. Remove that. Then we can also destroy Snatch Steel. So give me back my card. And then we can activate this because it has three spell counters on it. We can give it to him. And then we can keep. What we can do is we can keep destroying spell and trap cards as well as keep buffing up our card. So let's destroy whatever this may be. Ah, Flute of Summoning Karibo! Oh, he added Karibo to his hand. Go figure. Yay! And then we'll just do this again. Oh, we can only do it once per turn. Okay. That makes sense. That would be too broken otherwise, right? Huh. Wait, why would you... Good thing I attacked with him first. Because <laughs> now we can get off a bigger attack. I don't know, I really like the Yu-Gi-Oh games. Yu-Gi-Oh games are always really good. Especially the old ones. Except for Chef of Destruction, I absolutely hated that game just because it's difficulty. The fact that you literally just didn't get any good cards for the point of the game, you know? Like, your deck capacity goes up too slow, you get too many weak cards, cards cost too much, it's just so bad. Nightmare Steel Kids will make it so... Um... Neither of us can attack for two turns. Sorry, I was distracted. My cat was fly hunting. I don't know. Our apartment building gets a lot of flies, and it's even the winter, too. I forget that attack isn't first on this game. I'm used to the other Yu-Gi-Oh games where attack is actually before the search. God damn it. We're 100 points off, so we have to waste this turn to destroy Giant Soldier of Stone. So this guy seriously is your typical old school, really good spell and trap cards, but pretty meh monsters. Reflect Bounder, I know what that's used for. 
That's you, so he'll inflict down. Oh, well, you know what? Screw you. I'm gonna activate Lightning Vortex. I don't really need Nightmare Steel Cage. I don't feel like taking extra points of damage when I don't need to. So, let's attack. Finally getting off some damage here. And then, you know what? We have one more spell counter. Let's activate this one to destroy whatever that face down is. He's not allowed to have anything. So, let's just... Not my card, you stupid game. Oh, it's MST. Why didn't he... Why didn't he just destroy this? He could prevent me from doing anything all this time. There we go. All we have to do is wait till his next turn and kick his ass. Is Karibo a ham? And that's actually the alternate art Karibo. Nah, you have pot of greed. It's actually the alternate art. Which I actually really like. I actually did get it uh, before. I really do like card games, but it's just hard to get back into once you quit. Especially when you don't have the money, because you need to buy lots of cars, but at the same time, you are very scarce on money, so it's like, well, can't really get back into it. There we go! Thought we were going to lose that, but we didn't. Sweet, 400 bucks. Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, let's take on Scapegoat now. With his deck, Ad Adversity Monsters. Let's go with heads this time. We won't tails last time. Yeah! Two for two, guys. And we'll go first. Hopefully we get some better monsters. Ooh! A very, very solid first hand, actually. Very solid. So all I'll have to do... Set my Royal Magical Library and call the... Pardon me. Call the Haunted Face down, which can bring back monsters from the graveyard, and that's about it. There are no, like, type advantages or disadvantages in this game or anything like that, so don't worry about that. Fusilar Dragon, the dual mode beast. Eh. Oh! Sorry, buddy. Bet you one of those is scapegoat, actually. Divine Wrath skill drain, so none of... Oh, great, Jesus. No, because... Wait, why would I... Oh, wait, what's... Well, this is a quick play. See, now that thing has 2,800. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Lightning Vortex. And get rid of... Probably... Divine Wrath, since he doesn't seem to like effect monsters. We'll just do it like that. Then we'll just set you face down to allow us to get some more spell cards. Mate, wait, actually, it doesn't really work, so it's kind of a useless card. Ah, goblin attack force. Big burly monster. D Dude, it doesn't work. Why are you even asking me? I don't go why it asked me. Ah, uh, no, I'm not going to activate Call the Haunt unless I get, uh... You know what, I'm going to set this face down, and then I'm going to activate Reload. Oh, well, that sucks! That just absolutely sucks, man. I don't think we can win this unless we can destroy Skill Drain. See, because then there's Chainsaw Insect, which normally would make us draw a card. God, we only have Call the Haunted. No. My poor library. My poor life points. Yeah, and we don't get to draw a card. I would have really liked to draw the card, but... See, the thing with Eradicator Warlock here is we need, um... Dark Magician to get it out, but without Dark Magician... You know what? I'm gonna have to activate this just so I can, uh... I don't really care who I bring back, okay? And then I'm going to activate this. Tribute you. Special summon you in defense mode. And destroy Chainsaw Insect. And there we go. That's all I can really do. Didn't really gain anything or lose anything. Ah, right, now he's got an Indomitable Fighter Lele. Go figure. Another 2300 point attack monster. Uh, goes to defense position, just like Goblin Attack Force, unless you have the little fairy thing. Blast Magician. Yeah, we lose. He's gonna get another big monster here, too. Giant Orc, of all things. Great, there goes my Blast Magician. Ah, 
now. Yeah, we lose. Oh god, that was like just way too... That was just way too tough, you know? Yeah, I made 10 bucks from that. Anyways, let's try Skull Servant. With Skull Servant Kingdom. Hey. Okay, into the duel. Ooh, mage power! Woohoo! That is what I'm talking about. Well, no, we'll summon you. You'll have 1,900 attack points. Plus, for every spawn trap on our side of the field, we'll give you another, what, 800, I believe? So if it's 800, we should have... No, it's it's 500. But still, that's really good. I always seem to draw Magician of uh, Faith. I don't think Magician of Faith is going to really be that useful in this game. Or in this deck, at least. No! I see what you're going to do. You're going to use low-level monsters and just trap me in defense mode, aren't you? Well... Divine Wrath, face down. And I need to activate your ability. I know I lose some good attack points, but... 2600, why did I... Hopefully, hopefully you guys don't see the Amazon thing. I don't know why I have Product Hunt on my computer. It's just there. Wait, I'm still 2600. Oh wait, no, because I put a card face down. Hang on a second here. While I'm recording, that thing doesn't go away, so... Where's Mythical, mythical Beast Cerberus? Rawr. You know what? Put this face down. I want my card to have even more attack points. A grand whopping 3100. That'll destroy whatever this face down is. Gravity bind! God damn it. I really need my, um... Ah, duster now? Shit! I really need... Uh, what is that? Okay. Thanks. You just buffed up my monster. But, I really need that, um, whatchamacallit, the black spellstone or whatever it is, you know? You know what I'm talking about. God, god, god damn it. Why did I put you in attack mode? I have to put you in defense mode. I am sorry, I am messing up a lot today, guys. And Skull Servant. Okay, weak monster. Stone Statue of the Aztecs, okay. I have to put it in defense mode. But yeah, I need my spell stone. And, oh, I lost my attack power. Guess it only lasts for one turn. There's a deck similar to this in Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2008. Okay, I'm gonna activate this, actually. And with that, we're allowed to tribute Magician of uh, Faith to get White Magician Pikaru out in attack mode, which has way better attack points. Plus, we can destroy that barrier statue, or stone statue of the Aztecs. Plus, my monster's powered up this turn. To 1900, so he gains 500. Ah, Stealth Bird! Just enough to defeat him. Stealth Bird, if we don't destroy, can keep flipping and doing a thousand points of damage to us, so it gets annoying after a while. Obviously. For obvious reasons, you know. Okay. Let's see, what do you got? Okay, Lightning Vortex. Stings, but we should be fine. Oh, this got haunted anyway. And then we can special summon you by removing from play a light and dark monster. So goodbye, Magician of Faith. And goodbye, Breaker. Don't really like to get rid of Breaker, but kinda need to. No, you don't need to remove from play a monster, because guess what? There are no monsters to remove from play except for yourself. I always thought it was funny that he could remove himself from play, and I meant to actually click end phase, but whatever. Ah, Dust Tornado. See, these guys have really good spell and trap cards. Not necessarily monsters. Well, the last guy had good monsters, but good lord. Ah, Skill Dark Magician. You have yet to show up. So, nice of you to join me. And no, I am not destroying my own cards, fool. You don't know the... You don't know step one about being a good duelist. Don't destroy your own cards unless they, you know, trigger some kind of ability where you'll win. There we go. We actually won that duel. And got some decent amount of money. So anyways, in the next episode, we will try and battle Wadapon and White Magician Pickaroo. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.